Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and we're doing another Ecomi Omi View video. Currently the price on Omi is 6867 on a low of 66, sorry, 6771 on a higher 7301 over the past 24 hours. Now, this video I want to go over, we're talking about the VV first appearance of Green Goblin, guest starring the Incredible Hulk, Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man number 14, includes VV exclusive rare and ultra covers by Sean Chen, drops Tuesday 16 November, i.e. tomorrow at 8am PT in blind box format. We're going to have a look at the details and we're going to have a look at what we might be able to see this, uh, the value, let's say, of this comic because it's looking pretty juicy. Let's get into it, Marvel Digital Comics, Amazing Spider-Man number 14 the next offering in vv's digital comic lineup continues with another iconic comic from marvel amazing spider-man number 14 fully readable with five variant co co uh, covers including vv exclusive rare and ultra rare covers in blind box format we see the five different uh covers we have right here and all of this of course again is the 14 uh, number 14 edition so what we have right here wow just wait till you see the green goblin we have of course this cover right here this one is the common and of course that's colored we see the uh the the green goblin here we have hulk right here and spider-man right here then we have the same but obviously in uncommon format and this one of course we have more of a black and white thing going on the vi vintage variant as they call it then we have the hero variant where we see of course uh green goblin sort of going through the ny city uh the amazing spider-man right here and then if we go uh, and that one is the hero variant that's rare then we have the vibranium variant which is ultra rare which of course is the ny city in uh, in color this time around this one's a really nice look in my opinion and then we have this one this one is the secret race so this one's gonna be worth a lot uh of course we see right here green goblin and we see of course him on his whatever it is i uh i'm unfortunately not into marvel as much as some of y'all are but that's all good the fa of the screen goblin complete with his flying broomstick so that's what it is it's a flying broomstick okay cool uh and goblin armor the green goblin test his metal in a face-off with spider-man guest starring the incredible hulk the release includes vv exclusive rear and ultra rear variant covers by sean chen the list price is 6.99 the it was published in 64 Cover variance is five, total editions is 70,000. And just to go over it again, the classic cover will be 49,000 editions. We'll see 11,550 vintage variants. We'll see 5,600 hero variants. We'll see 2,450 vibranium variants and only 1,400 uh, secret rare true believer variants. Of course, the same thing as per usual with important notes on comic deliveries. And of course, we'll be seeing a 6% 6 licensor fee on top of the... 2.5% secondary market fee. Great, awesome stuff. You love to see it. Now, interestingly enough, of course, if we have a look at the Amazing Spider-Man number 14 on qualitycomics.com, we can see right here what is Amazing Spider-Man number 14 worth in 2021. As of writing this, there is only one copy of Spider-Man of, uh, of, of Amazing Spider-Man number 14 in mint condition, and it last sold for $55,000, and that was in 2015. Spider-Man's popularity, sorry, Spidey's popularity is so strong, the issue could easily fetch several thousand more dollars just four years later. Certainly one of the most sought after issues in any grade you'll find this book, a very stable investment in any condition. Again, four years later, that would even be 2019. So even that is three years ago, as with many issues with this era, low to mid grade books are more common and more affordable. Copies in a good uh, GD 2.0 sell for $900. 10 years, the same book sold for just $200, which is a 400% increase in actual realized value. A mid grade copy and uh, produced similar results, uh, selling for $700 in 2009 and bringing 2500 currently. Another huge increase in value. We recommend purchasing this book in whatever grade fits your budget. Is it as close to a sure thing as you can get for a comic book? And of course, we can see right here. Uh, it's the introduction of one of Webhead's most dastardly villains, Green Goblin, Stanley Crafts, etc. Right, and so what we can see right here is the record sale goes for two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Now, if we have a look at the Spider-Man film release, we can see right here that we have it going at 17 December 2021. It'll be interesting, of course, to see what happens there as far as both with the comics that we're seeing for Spider-Man and of course with the collectible that we're seeing itself. Very, very exciting. And so on that note, I would love to know your predictions in the comments below. Where do you see this comic ending up in the end over, at least over the next five years? Where do you see it coming? Do you or will you be 
trying to get this drop. I would love to hear your take on this. Personally, still trying to get into my app. Love it. Having said that, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was interesting or helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, a like is always much appreciated. And if you would like to get the happening in this topic every single day, most times a day, this is my channel. I cover everything going on every single day. So if you want to be everything happening, hit that subscribe button and key notifications on. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next VV video.